Hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to my first tutorial with Stylist 3D. My name is Angelika Chulikova. I'm a fashion designer, creative pattern cutter from CNA Digital Fashion. And today we will be creating this denim dress. We will learn how to import a DFX pattern, how to set and customize our avatar, uh, go through the modeling of the dress on our avatar and create an editorial rendering. We will be using the software Stylist 3D. You can find the link of the website below the video and uh, visiting the website, you can find the download studio link to actually download the software. And when you do so, you get three months free trial. Uh, you can sign up uh, and create an account and showcase your work. As you can see, there is many amazing creative designers that are um, using Stylist 3D. Look how beautiful. Um, so you can be among those designers. Um, let's get started then. This is what we're going to make today. I'm opening my page. Here we go. This is the surface. Let's load my avatar. I click on the avatar, go to the library, female, female avatar. Okay. Click on the avatar and the property editor. This is basically the um, area we will be working the most. Uh, you can change the character, which I will do now. At the beginning, when you download the software, you won't have such a big selection. So you go here at the little box, and it depends what you want to download, avatar, fabric, um, graphic, and trims. You go to this little cloud. Currently, I am uh, selected. I selected the avatar. I go to the little cloud, and I will have the possibility to download anything related to the avatar, from hair to character to pose, shoes. So you just click and select um, what you want to download and press download. I already have a small library uh, created, so let's change the hair. Um, this is the one I used uh, for my avatar and also the shoes, what's those ones? Okay, I'm ready to go. This is my avatar. Let me show you the picture of the dress. This is what we will be creating, okay? And here we go, oops, sorry, here we go. File, import, import DFX. This is my dress. We work on the half dress and we will make a symmetric. I'm placing the dress approximately on where is my avatar. Then right click, that is set to the arrangement. I am selecting the arrangement points and then I am selecting my front and select one of those little click shift to select more than one pieces place it back you can work either on the 3d window or 2d depends what is more easy for you and functional you select the skirt and here we go let's uh, stitch my pattern you have the sewing um, tools here the segment sewing i will be using on some of the panels make sure uh, your stitching it has a one and same direction um, don't go like that you will twist so the beginning must be the same side with the beginning of the other side um, if you are uh, completely uh, new to uh, the pattern cutting and sewing you're just going to follow uh, what i'm doing and you will do just fine i'm closing my darts okay and now i will be using free sewing I select the beginning of the point and the end and then press shift and connect all the pieces I like to go and join this panel. I'm going here my beginning and end. This is my side seam. Oops. This is my waist. And this is my waist. This is my stock. Okay, my waist back. Now we have pleats on this dress. Let's see what we're going to be doing with that. I will be center front, center front up to here because I want to work here on my pleats. Okay, and segment sewing again. And I would like to connect those panels. Brilliant. So now we select symmetric pattern with seam and I'm making the placement 
and I connect my sensor front and sensor back. Oops. Control Z if you did something. You want to step, go step back. Center back. Center back. Center back. Center back. Now I select and straighten my pattern and stimulate. Linear tape and I click, click and click, double click. Okay. We go to attach to avatar tape and I select this line, this line, double click. Now when I stimulate, resistive, you see, now it's fixed with my avatar. Let's, let's do the other side as well. Sometimes that's, that's really, even when you take a pose, if you have straps or you have a bandeau dress that you like it to be fixed to your uh, double click uh, and you just make sure that it's not moving around. So here we go, we're done. Let's make my pleats now. Firstly, I will create the uh, user pen and I approximately create the direction of my pleats. As you can see, they are approximately going parallel to my um, opening, okay? So I'll estimate. Now we'll need to do, to arrange my foldings. Edit pattern, and I select the lines, shift, that will be looking towards outside, and fold rendering. Now I select the inside of my pleat, and go 360. Now when I press, you see my pleats already kind of, I created my pleats, it's easier for me to stitch now. Okay. Go free sewing and I go close firstly my pleats. And that's it. And then this pleat will have to go here. So I will be closing this line to this side. Yeah? Let's stimulate. Now, what do I need? I need to connect this panel with this panel. So I select this side with this side and click again. So we close my pleats. Now I will connect my waistband with the bottom. So this panel, according to my notches, is going to be this panel. And this panel will go here. And now we connected my skirt. We have a center front that will need to overlap. So I'm going from here to central and from here to central. And I click. So that's it. Firstly, I won't have seam at the center front, so I would like to merge those panels. Right click, merge. Right click, merge. Right click, merge. Right click, merge. That's it. Now, next step I would like is to add a zip. Center back zip. So I select Sorry, edit sewing. We select this seam, delete, this seam, delete, and this seam, delete. We press stimulation very fastly. That's it. Now I will need to create this little step here. I click to add a point. A little step to create a space for my zipper. And now I'm going to asset, select the zipper, and let's add the zip. Double click the end, start point. Double click at the end. Stimulate. That's it. Now let's customize my zip. At the moment, again, property editor, everything we do is going to be happening at the property editor. Um, firstly, we. You see the tape is quite far away. That's not something we see often uh, in our clothes. When you, so we need to make it 0 0.30. Enter. So this is more natural and more realistic now. Edit zipper. Hit library. I want it to be metal. You have the pens, you know, you make your selection. It has to be metal, the material. We go to the stripe. And actually, I'm going to change the color and make it slightly more bronzy, yellow. Um, sorry. The stripe, just changing the color. And slider. Um, 
I need it to be smaller, that's quite chunky. Metal as well. Here we go, the color cooler. Um, here you can press and select uh, the type of the cooler. I'll go for this one. Metal. And let's change the color. Beautiful. Now stopper. Stopper is very important at the moment. My zip is or have opening open-ended ending. We don't need that, so we change it here. It has to be metal as well, and let's add the same color. So we're done with my zip. This is it. Let's create the top stitching now. What do we have usually? Usually on the bust, we have this line and this line. I would like to add an internal line of 0 0.5 centimeter top stitch. And same I will do on this side. Beautiful. Now I would like to have here as well one top stitch, the top line. There is many ways you can add a top stitch. I'm showing you this one, another tutorial we will go to to show a different one, a different way. And also on the straps. I like to have top stitch on the strap. Beautiful. Let's go to the waistband. Waistband, I will change my distance and I will make it 0 0.2. I want to have edge seam. And same I will do on the back. Oops. I also would like to add one at the center. Nice, done. Now, I select here the top stitch. This is my top stitch, I click. I go to property editor again. I like to change the color and make it like a denim look like. Uh, offset is going to be zero because I want it to be exactly on the line that I'm selecting. And I would like to make it slightly thicker uh, maybe uh, five. Let me top stitch segment. Let's try and make one seam and see how it's look like. I think I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is good. So now we select the segment top stitch and I select all the panels I want it to be top stitched. All this in Internal lines. I'm just gonna click on them. So now everything you do on this one side is happening on the other side because we selected to be symmetric. So you don't need to go and do that both sides. Another thing. Um, no, let's stimulate. Uh, other thing I like to do is duplicate my top part to make it more realistic. This is gonna happen. Um, generate lining inside, okay? When I stimulate now, look how more realistic, it will be more visible on the rendering. It just look more real. Can you see on the seams and everything, just beautiful. Now, I like to have facing on my skirt, just in turn the line. Four centimeter approximately will be my top stitch. I select this panel, copy, paste, select here, shift, right click, cut, delete. This is my facing, what is it? Beautiful. So let's stitch it. Oops, this is going wrong. No, this is wrong. And control Z. Okay, here we go. Resign. We just stitch it to the skirt. Okay. And done. Select, right click. Superpose, superimpose, and I never can pronounce this word. <laughs> and now right click, symmetry pattern with seam, again to the other side, right click, uh, under. Now let's simulate. And what we will see is that 
besides what is happening, I'll tell you what you can do later. Uh, it's, it's a little bit puffy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check, and usually on the facing, this is one of the cases, the sewing type have to be changed to be turned. And also, when this is happening, and sometimes you can wait a little bit, but sometimes you can just place this layer to be one, this layer to be minus one, just to show where you want things to be. And then that's it. You stimulate and it got to the right placement. Now, next thing, what we need to do is to basically add the buttons. Let's add some buttons. Uh, I go to the button library, click on my button, and the property editor, I go and I select from the library, click here, my buttons. This is the one I use. I want them to be metal, and I want them to be this color. Beautiful. Now I go here, and I already have my placement. I just click, add my button. Shift, select both of the buttons, right click, and duplicate the symmetric button. Now I have my buttons on the other side. Easy, easy. So next thing I would like to do is basically set my fabric. Here we go. I will go to the library, go to fabrics. And actually, I may be not going to go for the denim, but let me try. This is, this is suitable also for this four-side elastic plain cloth. Let's try this one. Okay. Or maybe try this one as well to see how it's going to look like. You can have a big selection of fabrics if you go here to the little cloud. There is a huge library of fabrics you can download and create your library and play around with different prints and textures. We will go further um, while we've been doing other tutorials, you know, and work a little bit more with the normal map and gloss map, metal map. At the moment, I like to keep it simple. It's the first tutorial, so let's not get too deep into that. I will go and unstraighten my panels and then everything on my layers all zero and right click assign to pattern that's a pretty dress it's quite hot now here in Greece so this is an ideal color for now <laughs> other thing let's try assign to pattern it's also pretty maybe we need to have <clears throat> nickel the pattern yeah but maybe we should also I can select my print and on the assets edit texture and I can slide here and make this palm trees bigger or I can even rotate them. You can play around and do, you can even recolor them. We will go to that deeper on other tutorials. For time being, let's go for the yellow. I like the yellow. I think it's assigned to pattern. Next thing I will do, I'll right click and I say delete all unused fabrics. So you just have one, the one you're using. Now I would like to work a little bit on those plates because they're not really look realistic. So next thing we will be doing is click, we select all the lines, shift here and here, and we go to the folder rendering. I already check my played around a little bit and check the numbers I would like to have for the ideal um, folding, but depends the fabrics you're having, depends the clicks and depends the design. It's good to play around here and find the correct um, the correct settings. Now, when you select all, I like to check them with straighten and now press stimulate. I'm maybe going to keep still this uh, one, enter. Yeah, I will keep now for now for time being and then we'll see next. So this is a little bit better, but what we're missing, you still, still have this like chunky something, it's not really good. I need to change my practical distance. Up to 10, like 10 is good, don't go over 10, but when you have smaller pieces, like stimulate, you can see the texture is already better. I will go 8, maybe, better. Also, you know what we forgot? The top part, the waistband, as also the facings, need to be bonded. So I'm going to bond the top part, and I'm going to bond my facings. And then I will solidify and then stimulate. I like my skirt to be slightly more uh, structured. So what I would like to do is go to this fabric, to the texture, and play a little bit with my buckling, with my bending, sorry. 
uh, bending. I will go 60. I'll try 58 and 58. And then stimulate. It will be slightly. That's it. It's getting slightly better shape. Let's change the pose now. Oh, also, I like to change my shoes color. You can do that too. I just delete the texture, the cabin texture here, and I will make it here. And now we'll make this leather. Beautiful. So next thing on the library, if you go to the avatars, you will have some poses already when you just download the software, but you can go to the library, as I showed you before, and go to poses and download a big selection of poses that you can use. Let me see which one. This is the... Zero five. I want to use this one. You press to change the pose. You need to click on stimulate and press double click on the pose. And now slowly, slowly, she will take the correct pose if you want to. And then we play a little bit with the dress on the fitting before we go to set our creative rendering. Here she goes. Beautiful. Now, what I like to do, remember we stitched uh, the straps on my avatar. I'm not going to need that for um, um, edit avatar tape here. I'm selecting it and delete, and I'm selecting it and delete. And then I will go home. And because I like to play a little bit, pull it a little bit up. Just want a little bit play now on my. But if you do animation, that's a great thing. You should better um, fix some uh, parts uh, and test how it goes and how it shows um, when you do the animation. It always depends what kind of garment you have, uh, what kind of move you're gonna have. This is something you will be, you will have to um, try and and also again, let's make them all zero. You can also add puckering, which I haven't, where you have your top seams. This is a cotton fabric, okay, and I would like to apply a segment puckering into my seams. I want, I need it to be both sides on the top stitch. I will check afterwards the just to make it more realistic. I want to make them very smooth. I don't want them to be super. Maybe add a little bit here as well. Okay, but my pokering will be softer, not so. Just like tiny little bit. And the length will be five. Uh, this is slightly something going on to show. I forgot the back. We add some more puckering here. All right, that is enough. Now I select and solidify. And let's start my rendering. We go here and we go to the scene. This is the scene I've used before. And here, double click, I already checked and I need to have this Z axis minus one for the correct position of my avatar. You will download it, check where is approximately your scene standing and you can play with the axis to um, place it on the um, right distance with your avatar. Those scenes are coming already with the lights, so when you go to tools and offline rendering, the only thing is that the um, frame is set up to be uh, the Instagram square, uh, but you can change that. You go here on the width. I'm using this. You can add anything you like. At 0 0.0010 at the noise, I would recommend. I will go for high quality rendering and here I like to name this um, tutorial dress enter. Now I press sync. I don't need to work on the light now because this is already comes ready with the light with the correct lighting. But on other tutorials, we will go through the lighting as well for the rendering, the fantasy we will be using. Now 
when I think I have to, um, I can play around and see the position I like to have um, for my rendering, uh, the placement. Um, even if you're not having photographic skills, um, the good is that it's so easy to use and um, create amazing images actually um, with this software. Um, so I will go possibly, I, I will go somewhere here. Maybe a little bit this way. Yeah. Let's go here. So when I'm happy with my uh, result, you can lock the view, which I recommend because sometimes you can do something um, on your 3D window and basically uh, messed up your um, rendering by accident. So when you make your uh, placement, you press final and you waiting for your rendering to happen. It's gonna take some time, depends the computer you have and you know how powerful it is and how long it's gonna take. Um, let's wait to see the final rendering now. So now my rendering is over. Let's open the folder to see what we've done. This is a beautiful yellow dress. Thank you everyone for watching my tutorial with Stylist 3D. I'm looking forward to see what you will be doing with this dress and you can play with uh, different prints and textures that you can download and find at the Stylist 3D library. Please uh, share your work, tag Stylist 3D and CNA Digital Fashion. Our social you will find below the video as also the link for the Stylist 3D website to download the software and get your free three, three months trial and get started. Thank you for your time once again and hope you enjoyed the tutorial.